Fire Truck is a 1978 arcade game by Atari where the goal is to navigate your fire truck through the streets and try to get as far as possible within the time allotted, while attempting to avoid deadly head-on collisions with anything resembling scenery. There are two variations of the game, a single-player Smokey Joe edition, which is what's being featured here, and a two-player fire truck edition in which player one controls the front part of the truck while player two controls the junk in the back. Oh, what fun that might be. For anyone playing this game in the 21st century for the first time in their lowly existence and wasn't born during the days of this game's infancy, the first hurdle of fire truck comes from the extremely super sensitive steering where one slight nudge is enough to careen your truck into the streets with a thunderous crash. The controls more than anything is what will make or break your tolerance of fire truck and if you're the kind of person hoping for their vehicles to function properly, best steer clear, haha of this one because in the short playtime that each quarter provides with fire truck, you'll spend more time trying to keep your truck stable and steady than trying to do anything resembling fancy driving which is virtually non-existent in fire truck. Now to be fair, I'd imagine the actual arcade machine steering wheel apparatus would serve as a more functional input device than the computer mouse I'm using in MAME here, but even so, how does anyone in this digital town feel safe when fire trucks are able to drive straight through the terrain? And why isn't there a brake pedal? At least the version I'm playing lacks a brake pedal. It does have a horn, however, but... Eh. But once you get past the controls, however, Fire Truck does have something of a strange appeal that makes it something of an enjoyable experience in some form or fashion. As rudimentary and fundamentally simplistic as the game may be, there is that inexplicable element that tempts the player to play the game for the brief 90 seconds or so per session, fail utterly miserably the first time around, and try again to see if they fare a bit better. I suppose a more modern comparison would be the mobile game Flappy Bird or Happy Bird or whatever it's called. It's the one where you tap the screen to make a bird flap in the air and avoid the pipes. Uh, although I dare say Fire Truck is a more enjoyable game in that regard and nowhere near as insipidly stupid as the bird game, but hey, that's just me. The visuals of Fire Truck are not much to look at, as everything is monotone and comprising a variety of solid and outlined objects, represented by rather simplistic shapes and patterns. Your Fire Truck looks basic and animates smoothly when turning, and the crash is humorous whenever it pops up. What isn't so humorous is the constant droning of the siren that plays in the background, but the screeching and crashing sound effects are somewhat realistic sounding, even if it's missing the broken bones and stuff. Overall, Fire Truck is an interesting relic for its time, and given some practice and some patience, you could have some semblance of enjoyment out of this one. I'd imagine many young, frail minds throwing up their arms in frustration having to deal with one of the worst fire departments in the history of civilization, but there is an appeal to this game that somehow sucks you into some three and a half decades after its initial inception. If you chance at a functional fire truck arcade machine, it might be worth a play or two for curiosity's sake, but not much more than that, I'm afraid. Although, thinking about it, this would make for a somewhat interesting mobile game. Maybe someone would like to take the chance and put it together? But, probably not.